What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my cohort, Mikey. What's up? What's going on, Mikey? We are in The Walking Dead, Episode 7, yes. Season 8. This is called Time for After, which I hate. Uh, <laughs> man. What do, you, what do you hate? Do you hate the episode or the title? Um, I'm not a fan of the episode. No, I'm not a fan of the episode really? for reasons which we'll get into. The title sucks because I hate the garbage people. And I just, I can't, I can't deal with it, man. The whole Rick thing. Yes, it was, it was, it was, it was dope to see Rick kick, kick all their asses. And that, like, was, a, you, that, was, that was a good scene. That was cool. But the whole, like, why are you there? Like, did you didn't know that's what they were going to do. You didn't know they were going to lock you up. Well, maybe you kind of had an inkling, but you didn't know they were going to put a walker against you. You didn't like you didn't know any of this stuff. You just assumed. Now well, he is he assumed everybody knew. Everybody knew where he was. So I guess he But that did. doesn't mean they they won't kill him, Mike. That doesn't mean like No, but I know Everyone I, knows where I am. Okay, well, I'll kill you. And who that's cares? Just a cockiness, a confidence of him. That's I, guess. What I mean, the, the the cojones on this guy, where he's just like, I'm just gonna go in here and look, man. It just the whole situation didn't sit well with me. The fight was yeah. cool, and then it it showed, I guess, how primitive these people have reverted back because, like, she gets bested by him, and she's like, okay, we'll we'll work with you. Meanwhile, these this bitch shot at you, like they're that they're that desperate. By the way, does he know the kingdom's done? He knows, right? He knows. Okay. Yeah, he knows. That's why he's there. Oh, yeah. Well, he was lying. He was, obviously, he's lying to them, saying that they have all these numbers. But the point is, is, man, you couldn't trust them once. You're going to trust them again? Like, it's, dude, it's literally the same situation. It was literally the same situation. I'm going to go here. They're like, yeah, we'll work with you. They make him yeah. fight as a walker. Okay, yeah, we'll work with you. And then they, And then he got betrayed. So what's... What's to say that's not going to happen again? What's to say they're not going to? Why? Because now the now the saviors are surrounded. Yeah, Maybe well, that's that's the, that's the biggest complaint that I've heard. Um, that's from from everyone. Everyone that's watched this episode you've heard is, it from me for the past two weeks too. Of course. I mean, listen. The, we know how how annoying. Let let's let's now, now they're making them all artsy. That's what I can't stand. Now oh, they're like the these garbage hippie, people. Yeah. Like yeah, all of a sudden, artists, I'll paint. I have to sculpt you sculpt without him. those on. Like, come on. Yeah. She's she's taking pictures of him while the guy's sitting. At first, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing next to her? You know, he's sitting there with a sketch pad. He's sketching Rick, and I just thought that was a little ridiculous. We know, you know, we know why Rick was there. He tells why they're there. You know, like you like you said, he's very cocky, which is cool. And I did enjoy the fight scene um, with Rick's arms, uh, hands yeah, bound. That was, cool. that was cool. That was, Rick, um, it that was, was classic. That was, Rick. you know what? But you no, know, despite how much I can't stand the the scavengers, the heapsers, whatever everybody wants to call them, I think I may enjoy them a little more than Eugene after this fucking episode. <laughs> so, look, Eugene. I can't, dude. So he's turned. So he turned. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He's turned. turned. You know, Fucking frustrating. Frustrating to me. Okay, so you, you, you were saying, you and I were talking about it before we started yeah. recording, you were saying how initially everyone's telling him what he has to do, what he should do to make things right. You have yeah. Gabriel, you have Dwight, you have Tanya, you have, mm -hmm. you have uh, Negan. Like, they're all telling him what to do, and then he makes a decision at the halfway through or towards the end. No, I'm this this is what I'm doing. I've decided to do this. I mean, sucks. <laughs> it's frustrating, dude. I thought that, you know, like you just said, everybody's influencing him to do the right thing. And I thought that when he was rummaging in the, in the, uh, shed of, of the oh, sanctuary with the, with the and he sees the, yeah. And he sees the coffin. I really thought that that was going to make him, um, realize, especially when he opens it up and he sees the iPod yeah. that's, that's laying there. You know, listen, Eugene had a lot of opportunity. It's very reminiscent of Andrea and the governor. Yeah. How many, how many times how many did times Andrea have that? Him, right, yeah. You know, she sleeps with him. Carol tells him, you know, give him give him the night of your life and, and, and shoot him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? She, and she didn't do it. Eugene, the same thing with him with the pills. Uh, initially, when the when his wives. Which Tanya was like, I you know, you, we came to you. Yeah. And it's, you it, didn't do it. You didn't do it. And it's. It's something that I'm surprised of. 
I that's why I really enjoyed the episode, even though it was frustrating to me and the whole Daryl thing was super fucking frustrating. But it's just the fact that um, Eugene had so much power in his in his fingertips and he's using his power for the the bad now. It's like the force. What are yeah. you going to use? You know? Yeah, he's gone to the dark side. He, I, and I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I, I mean, I, I'm not because he says it again, like when he comes in and yells at Gabriel, who, by the way, has inexplicably has has an infection apparently so yeah he's who knows if he's gonna die but mm-hmm. the thing is he goes in and he tells him you know what no i'm go- i'm not gonna do what you want me to do i'm not gonna do what they want me to do i'm gonna do what i want to do because i survived that's what i do that's my yeah. directive that's my that's what i'm doing i'm gonna do what i want to like mm-hmm. what i have to do to survive it's it's my biological imperative you know like Right. That's what I'm going to do. I respect that. I respect that. Then he goes in Egan and he's like, oh, I've done this, this, and this. And I also know about, I have something else for you. And then Dwight walks in. Now, why didn't he tell Negan? That's, that was, I was going to ask you this. Now, before, um, before Negan, uh, before Dwight comes in, I should say, I think he was going to tell him. No, he absolutely, that's my point. He absolutely was. He and, saved yeah. it. He was so trying to be why, all dramatic about why it. Why is exactly so? Why is that? Why is he's afraid that, of Dwight? Because he's afraid of Dwight. But at the same time, at that, that's, at that time though, it wouldn't have mattered if he was afraid of Dwight because as all if all he needed there, to yeah. do, yeah, yeah, I hear well, you. Man. I don't know. So I was actually, I was actually a little surprised by that because I thought that would have that would have been pretty cool if he would have dimed him out. But in essence. Eugene is a brain guy, so he knows that that would have been that would have been the wrong decision at that moment. Like he knows that, and Negan really gassed him up by the yeah. number two thing. You're, you know, how does it feel for you to be the, the most second important most person? important person? In you know, I can place, I yeah. can make bullets. Eugene, can you make those bullets? Like fuck yeah, I'll be able to make those bullets. Like Eugene feels good about himself, and like you said with the Gabriel thing and him yelling back and like, yo, dude, I'm gonna do. You know this whatever is the most selfish thing for me to survive, me and that's to survive. What he did. dude that's what that's what his whole character was you know? this, exactly he the, the dc thing right yeah um, you know he so, lied to abraham I mean, look, and all that kind of stuff at least okay so now he's being true to his his shitty character yeah um i yeah. thought it was there were some funny parts like he's like i was going for a handshake like that <laughs> that shit was pretty funny you know yeah um you know I although I have to tell you Eugene's speech is kind of getting on my nerves. It was hard to understand. It's too much. Like you're just it's Some, just too much now. It's it getting is, over it the is, top. It is. It is. I mean, look, you know, uh, uh the actor's name, oh my god, I forgot. Um he, he, he does a great job, don't get me wrong. Yeah. He does an amazing job at delivering those damn lines. Uh like nobody else could, but they're just it's just too much. It's just too much. Yeah, it's um, hard, to, you know. I do. I mean, there was a lot of scene. I'm like, what the fuck did he say? Like, that's why I watch these things more than once. Yeah, more than once. And there's there's a lot of times where you, you know, you catch, uh, you, you know, you catch it that second time that look, you didn't hear the first time. Look, Dwight tried. Dwight tried again to be like, yeah. listen, we mm-hmm. can do this. But then, but then again, in my head, I'm like, okay, if 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 that's the case, you could have shot him a thousand times over. And then, like, if, if you're so keen on it, then just shoot yeah. him. Oh, you yeah, worried they about were, the other They weren't in such a vulnerable situation now. But that's besides the point, Before, man. Like, you're, you're, it's look, man. I don't know look, if that is. That's a that's a perfect opportunity because Dw- Dwight's a survivor. He'll figure a way out. He knows that place. He'll he'll hide. He, if you really wanted it done, you'd get it done. Yeah, now, but he again, wants it done the right way. He wants. There is no right way, man. That's the problem. There no, is no I right mean, way. there is a better way. There is a better way, and obviously, Rick's is plan there, was though? working until. Yeah, I think so. I mean, before before Rick's initiated his, you know, the mission, and and the walkers came upon the sanctuary. I think that if Dwight would have just shot Negan, there would have been an uprising. People, we see how the workers loved him, and they wouldn't have been. They don't they love him. They they they. They allow I, him. They allow. I don't know. Him. I think those workers they made they made it very apparent that they're like, oh, thank God. Well, Negan. only because oh, only you know, beca- in the face a, of those other people, sure. Well, it was a stressful situation. I think they understand that. Yeah. Listen, regardless if it's fear or not, you know, it, before before the mission, before the walkers, I think it would have been a totally different situation. 
everybody was looking for someone to figure out a plan once these once the walkers came and cover the sanctuary. Yeah. So at that at that time, like say Negan was outside the way he was when Rick was shooting at him and all this kind of stuff. If Dwight happened to be there, I can see Dwight shooting Negan and saying, "Oh my God, you know, one of the guys got him." Yeah. Like that. That's a different story. But in the end, Dwight feels that the sanctuary would be a better place without Negan. He's and trying they, to save lives, right? He's, I get and, it. I and get Tanya, it, but... and Tanya, the same way. She says the same thing. She says, "Just want to take care of Negan. We can make this place. You could make this place better." She says to to Eugene. Yeah. So listen. I mean, we talked a lot about Eugene. Let's talk about um, Rick. I mean, not Rick. Not, no. Let's talk about how plan. everybody's going rogue. Here's the thing. <laughs> so so we finally get an idea. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe not. So we're watching this plan unfold, right? Mm. episode by episode which i'm i i i'm happy the way they're presenting this season at least this first half this okay. whole first season is taking place in a very short amount of time r- relatively short amount of time days right we're in days right now we're not you know we're not weeks we're not seven months out no we're this is yeah. within like a week or whatever the case right so yeah we're seeing, oh, another piece of the plan, another piece of the puzzle. And they're like, wow, this is really, like, they really went all out with this. Like, they knew. It was working. Now, was working. now everybody's gone rogue. And it's like, what the hell For the are most you part, yeah. doing? For the most part, the yeah. The key players I mean, have gone rogue, man. Yeah, and well, and it seemed a lot more after, you know, bef- before this episode from last week. We saw Carl why, doing his they thing. Lost, because they lost no, the kingdom, because, so now because, everyone's flipping out. No, I mean, I think really in the end, who really is now going? Who really went rogue? Taryn, Daryl. You know, Michonne makes her decision, which I want to get into with you. But Rosita says, right away, I, believe, I believe in Rick Grimes. Yeah, I'm not doing this oh, right. Yeah. So after last week, yeah, we do see Carl running around. We saw Michonne, Rosita leave. We saw Daryl and Taryn and all this kind of stuff. So, yes, it, it, it did seem like there were a lot more people going rogue. But after this, it was really Daryl and Tara that, and, it, and it's vengeance. And that's what it's driven. That's why. That's why they're 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 doing what they want to do. They're not thinking about anybody else, and that's why I was surprised. I was really surprised with, with Rosita. And let me ask you this: Now we see Michonne originally go. She didn't go with Rosita right 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 away. Right. So it's it's that scene where they're in the truck, and it's Michonne and Daryl, and Michonne sitting here, and she's saying like, "Listen, I can't do it." Whatever she says. So I would have liked to see more of a more of a I believe in Rick Grimes from her to say, Hey, Daryl, this is your buddy. This is your right hand man. The plan is working. You know what I mean? Cause the plan was working and look, look what happened. So I, that's one thing that kind of, I wanted to see more from Michonne because dude, we haven't seen her. No, Michonne's one of the best characters on the show. And we saw her a little bit in the beginning when everybody left and that was it. I mean, we know she's healing and all this kind of stuff, but yeah, I agree. I, want, I wanted to see more. It wouldn't think, have been good if she was like, Daryl, you can't do this. And I mean, obviously it it would it would make Daryl seem more of of um give him more of an edge and more of the people hating him, the viewers saying, Oh, Daryl, you really fucked it up this time by you know, Michonne even told you and you still did it. So yeah. I, I can see why they didn't do that, but uh, that was a couple there was a couple little things and I, I would have liked Michonne to say I believe in Rick Grimes and maybe would have been the first person to leave and then Rosita saying I agree yeah I'm not, you know I'm I mean? not into this I also agree with you I yeah. don't know man yeah I, I just I didn't like how how that went down either I thought yeah. I thought I thought the same thing I thought Michonne should have been more on Rick's side and then mm-hmm. when you know when she when she did decide not to go through with it yeah and she just you know she left but I, here's the funny part yeah. What what didn't you go? So you not going through with it meant you just didn't sit in the truck, and that's it. I <laughs> what I fire? Really... What lay down yeah. cover fire? That's it. That's like, true. That was, your, that was your whole plan. Like that was. That's true. I didn't think of it that way, but yeah, you're right. Like what? The, what? What was it that you weren't a part of? They were going to do it with or without you. So. What the hell was well, the that's point what, of Yeah, she that? didn't. She didn't obviously. Obviously, she couldn't stop him. So later on, she could. She could say, "I plead the fifth and I be told, like, I didn't yeah, do like, it. Like I wasn't there. You know what I mean? Like, um, let's talk about we, this. We, what, <laughs> we all pull up to a bank to 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 rob it, and and Rosita and Michonne leave, and now, you know, that's yeah, right. No, I didn't do it. it. Right. Yeah. Did you think that this was a good plan from Daryl and Tara? At first, and I'm sure you're probably thinking the same thing I am. At first, I actually thought it was going to work. 
Um, now, listen, obviously it didn't. We see a pile up at the staircase when, you know, it was a cool scene. It was cool to see. Uh, now, why do you say it didn't work? Because of the Savior's escaped. If if there was, if there was, uh, we saw from Dwight. We when did saw they from, escape? Because at the end, when Rick finally, that's why, I, dude, I missed it too the first time I watched it. Because the scene at the end when Rick um, and the scavengers they come show to up, the he sanctuary. He looks through the scope. Rick looks through the scope and he sees the crash truck. He sees no walkers, nothing, but there's a path of some kind of vehicle. I don't know how they got out, but you see walkers pushed to the side. They got out somehow. I don't know how. Okay. No one knows how yet. It could even be a cool little theory video. I'm okay. sure other, you know, I'm sure other channels will probably get on that as well. But maybe with it's something we can think about. But listen, we don't know if look back. Just look back yeah, at the okay. at the end, and you'll see. But we know that they didn't get out. Uh, that they did get out, I should say. The plan was working. Rick's plan was was was. He got them. Really... He got them. He brought them there, and that dude, was what every, was going to happen. Everybody in the fucking sanctuary thought they were it. Dwight was saying, "Dude, we're over." When when Eugene went to Dwight's room, that's what Dwight said. When Dwight pushed him up against the the wall there, and he said, "Listen, you know, don't do anything. That's what you. That's what you you have to do is do nothing. Do nothing to help us get out of here." Um, it, it's, it's, we're, we're dying. We don't have much food. There's this whole, this whole, um, narrative that they have between each other in the beginning of the episode. So it's like, it, it would have worked a day or two, even another day because everybody's supposed to meet, you know, two days after and, and finish off Negan. Nick, yeah. you know, Rick says it to, to, to Jadis. Yeah. So that was, you know, I liked the episode. I said to you in the beginning, it was very frustrating to me because we finally got, the true self of Eugene. He's fucking all about himself. Um, Daryl really fucking infuriated me with, with, with not sticking with the Darren plan. So Tara, they, they're just, yeah, Tara's just, you know, Oh, because you know, Dwight killed my girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. But meanwhile, Dwight did those things, but look at how much good he's, he's trying to do he's now. Trying to make up I mean, he's trying to get everyone. Yeah, man. I, he's I trying agree. to, he's trying to make the sanctuary more like an Alexandria, more like, um, uh, a place that's not running. He wants, fear. right. He wants that to happen. So. Yeah. So listen, I mean, I think that the fucking season finale is going to be pretty sick. I'm actually excited. Did you see the, um, the preview? Yeah. I watched next the preview, week? but yeah. Man. I don't well, know. obviously, just... I mean, this goes back to what Jesse thought that this season would start. Well, because there's, with the grenades throwing over the walls of Alexandria, remember Jesse said yeah, in, yeah, our, yeah, yeah. in our theory video, our prediction video for season seven, Jesse thought it was going to start off just like that. Yeah. And he, he might be right. There were a, co a couple of comic um Yeah, Easter I was going to mention that, too. yeah. You know which one I'm talking about with the sniper hanging upside yep. down and... Yeah, should we spoil and say who that who that? Well, if you don't know from the comics about a particular character's death, maybe you should stop listening to us uh, for a few minutes. But uh, spoiler alert! You uh, can that's... go. Yeah, go, <laughs> well, go for it. No, go for it. I was gonna say you could you could skip ahead uh, if you tap tap ahead on your phone if you're watching this on your phone. Yeah. Tap ahead for ten seconds. No, so yeah, so the spoiler is that sniper hanging down uh, is actually Gabriel in the comic. Yeah. He gets killed that way, right? So and yes, he gets. Sir. But what's interesting is that he he right in the comic he trips and falls and Beta comes up and mm -hmm. slices him open is what happens. Yeah. So this yeah. was just this guy's face. And so this is a whole him. whisper thing too. So they're they're yeah. paying homage to that. That's why at first I'm like, what the fuck happened? Remember? See, this is this is this is a little bit of um, proof to you since you didn't know if the savior's left or not. Obviously, Rick gets on the radio. was like sniper or one or whatever the fuck he yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. No okay. one answered. Right? Where were they all? Because they were killed. Either they were killed, maybe Morgan ran off, maybe a couple say, of them like, ran Where the hell were all the snipers? Obviously, obviously, someone got that one particular sniper from oh, the yeah, from, well, from the yeah, saviors. Yeah. So, yeah. So, listen, I mean, I think, what did I, is there anything else that I wanted to? Oh, let me ask you this. Um, I wrote this down because I thought I thought it was funny. Uh, who do you hate more after after watching this? Um, maybe not hate. That's kind of a strong word. But who do you dislike so much after watching this episode, Daryl or Eugene? I think I'm going to say Eugene, but not not because of what he, not because of who he's being, but like the yeah. fact that he that he didn't have any loyalty. Yeah. I mean, I, look, 
I understand I he's agree. doing what he has to do to survive, and that's his character. He's being mm -hmm. true to his own character because he started out that way. But I just thought that he would have, since he was taken in, and when he did tell the truth, and they were like, you know what, man, it's okay. You're with us now. Mm -hmm. Where your family? And then you and then you go ahead and you betray them. So yeah, <laughs> Daryl. On the other hand, you just that was dumb. It's just dumb. And there's going to yeah. be repercussions. He was going to do whatever he wanted to do because he was pissed at Rick for not letting him uh, take the explosives. Yep. And he's still pissed. So he's like, I'm going to still do what I want to do, and I'm going to screw this plan up. Yeah, well, that's what I'm excited to see. Now, I don't know if we'll get that uh, conflict uh, between Rick and Daryl. I think there's going to be other it's things that they're going to have to worry about. Yeah, I think they're going to have know? to worry about that. But I'm assuming as soon as... Daryl understands what happened and that Negan escaped and, and that they're knocking on Alexandria's doorstep. He's going to realize, well, like, wow, I fucked up. Yeah. So I don't know if it's going to be this big thing. I don't think it's going to be a battle between Rick and, and Daryl or anything like that. I think Daryl's going to understand completely that Rick's plan was working. Um, but I'm excited to see that. I'm excited for the hour and a half. It's a big hour and a half uh, this weekend coming up. So, Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You know, listen, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be something to watch and, I'm kind of um I kind of was amped up after watching this, you know, this episode. Uh, I, I I just don't like I don't like I, I just don't like yes, okay, I agree. Yeah, now they've they they've there's they've set it up for a certain thing. I just these past like two episodes have just been crap for me. I don't like it. I don't like I don't like what they've been doing. The whole Rick thing is dumb and everything. Look let's just let's call it because um yeah, you're right. It's uh, ramping up. I, I I hope it. I hope it gets to a point. Mm -hmm. I um I I'm 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 disappointed that I'm disappointed. You know, I'm yeah. upset that I'm disappointed in these last few episodes because they started real strong, real strong. You know, well, um. So at, why least, don't you... at least we got a little bit of of the good guys winning for the most part. This this. Uh... Yeah, and and you gotta have the drama. You gotta have the you know yeah. like oh great now now all this is going is gonna go. I mean obviously it couldn't yeah. go off without a hitch with with human error yeah. involved and all this stuff. But yep. if you did or did not like this episode, you know what you can do. You can, yeah, you can tell us down <laughs> yeah. in the comments. Absolutely, at third person pod uh, at YouTube, of course. Uh, in the comment section below, let us know what you think. Let us know who you you possibly hated more. With the question I posed to Chris about Eugene or Daryl. Um, one last thing, dude. Do you do you remember this? Just just I just saw this. Um, it drove me nuts when when Eugene said um, about um, oh, what the heck is it now? So now I just lost it. Oh, the companions. They were just they're just merely companions. That fucking drove me nuts well that's my point yeah <laughs> they, they just compa merely companions they were your traveling companions they kept yeah. you alive and <laughs> and you yeah. and like what are you talking about yeah sorry to go off course there but yeah that just i'm like yeah, shit yeah. i knew i wanted something else to say and i, 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 I it I, it's part pocket. of what i was saying it's just that's yeah. what that's what that's what it kind of drove me, me nuts about, so about that. hey yeah. you know again let us know on all the instagram uh, third person pod and of course on facebook third person pod and don't forget to check us out um, on on iTunes. Also, let us know what you think. We love we love hearing from you guys. Yep. So uh, once again, thanks everybody for watching and for commenting and for getting in the conversation. And uh, why don't you go ahead and share this with someone else who enjoys the show? Share it. That's Have right. Yeah, that's involved. right. Thank you. Thank everybody for the love that we've seen for the Morgan will die video that we posted. Too. Yeah, true. A lot, true, of, true, true. a lot of people liking that too. So thanks a lot. We appreciate that. Yeah, guys. Thank you. We love you. We'll see you in the next video. Uh, the, the, the finale season mid, <laughs> mid season blah, 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 mid season finale mid season Jesus anyway thanks guys we'll see you then peace later